Hello everybody, I am Angry Bird and welcome to a new command uh, scenario, Command Modern Operations. Uh, this time we're taking a look at the Advanced Anti-Submarine Warfare Exercise 1979. Uh, I'm going to call this one, this scenario, the Sea Trials because that's what it's all about. Uh, we are a commander in charge of a flotilla of ships. And we've got to escort this one here, the RFA Grey Rover, uh, to the location marked here on the uh, map. So we have a number of ships at our disposal. Intelligence tells us there are three enemy submarines operating in the area somewhere in the channel. Uh, this is England, so in the English channel. The, the worst of which, I've had a look at the intelligence, and the worst of which is a... Uh, guided a nuclear guided missile submarine <laughs> if I'm saying it right um, which has uh, anti-surface missiles with a range of potentially all the way up to 80 nautical miles uh, which is a very long distance to cover so that one's the scary one that we've got to look out for I'm going to start the uh, scenario off we've got a lot of traffic it's obviously the channel and there's a lot of traffic as well. Uh, we set our ships up into uh, two main flotillas. Try and get them. This this one here, uh, which is the main kind of flotilla we've got to protect. Uh, Grey Rover here is right in the center. And then it has uh, a few ships either side. If it will let me pick them. Uh, this one here is coming to join it as well. Um, and then we have a second kind of uh, flotilla, which... Oh! Okay, so we've got a launch already. Wow. <laughs> Two minutes in. <laughs> Unbelievable. Um, okay, so we have a missile in the sky. I'm kind of hoping it's not targeting my helicopter, because that is particularly close here. Um... Yeah, there's not a lot we can do at this point. I guess we should actually mark that position because what we can do is uh, at least we know where there's... We, we know there's definitely a submarine over there. Um, I think... I'm kind of... I actually want to throw a torpedo at that location. So if we allocate that target and then we uh, plop a course in that direction and we should be able to get a torpedo away because we know there's a submarine there it's just launched a missile <laughs> and we were we were talking this this is the big one that we've got to be careful about as well right what's the range on this torpedo that's what i want to know it's basically four nautical miles uh, so we we need to get within about four nautical miles so yeah certainly we wow we're almost within that so we should um, go to around there and hopefully it should launch on the way. Uh, so we can see a missile in the sky. And... One of our sh ships is being jammed. Okay. Second missile in the sky. I'm actually going to allocate a second helicopter to do a beer and only launch on this thing. Uh, so yeah, so he does need to get a hell of a lot closer, but we'll we'll get him underway. Um, so down here we've got the HMS Newcastle's fighter Sea Dart mod, a Sea Dart uh, missile to try and shoot down the enemy vampire. Um, surface to air missile so hopefully we'll be able to do that before that thing comes in it looks like it's targeting one of the ships over here we do also have an enemy aircraft in the hit in the air up here we knew that from intelligence but 
We can't really target it at the moment. Okay, we have another missile launch. This time in a different location. Now, I didn't think there was more than one... Um, guided missile submarine. He still needs to get a lot closer. Still a little way out. So I don't know whether he's automatically going to launch this torpedo or not. I mean, we're not guaranteed to hit anything. We don't know their exact location, but we know they're in that area. And in fact, what we should do is... Uh, we should set up a, a mission to really prosecute these submarines. Probably want to set it in something like this. We need to uh, we need to locate those submarines. Ah, okay. So we need to just rename. Um, let's add to that mission. So we need to take. I think we'll take these two seekings out and we will add them uh, to this mission right let's go okay so more missiles in the air Second missile in the air there. Okay, our missiles are starting to come in now. And hopefully they will shoot down these vampires. There's another contact. I think that's kind of moved over this way. I'm hoping that bear and only launch happens. We're going to just assign these as well to uh, priority one. Actually, by them attacking so far away, we've um, we've at least got chance to shoot down these missiles. But at the moment, okay, it looks like we have had a launch of something. I'm assuming it's this one up here. Looks like we've had a torpedo launch. A lot of these missiles are starting to get close now. These ones aren't even being targeted. Okay. Oh, we missed again. That missile is getting incredibly close right now. I don't even think these ones are going to make it. Oh my days. We could well be losing a ship here. It's firing firing guns as well. Oh my days. Oh, we just shot down the missile in time. But there's still another one coming in as well. HMS Brighton is in real trouble right now. Hopefully it should start firing. It's... 
Is it out of... It's still got missiles, but why is it not firing? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I think it missed. It missed. It missed. Oh. Holy. Shh. Oh, God. There's another one down here, though. We're under a hell of a lot of trouble right now. These missiles are really hurting us. Okay, that one's shot down. HMS Newcastle is is targeting, but it's only got four of these sea darts left. I don't think it has enough. And Galate is being jammed. I think it's from this aircraft up here. But I literally... I don't have anything that can shoot down that aircraft, so... There's not a lot I can do. Okay, hopefully that will shoot it down. Yes. Okay. We're still in with a chance of surviving this attack. Yes, last missile. I think we've picked something up, but I don't want to... I don't want to miss this action. This missiles. I think we're okay with three surface to air missiles on it. I think we can shoot this down. The odds are in our favor. Come on. Oh, we've missed one. Did I speak too soon? Oh, no. Oh, no. This is going to be so close. Oh, come on. Please shoot that down. Please shoot that down. <gasps> Oh my god! Oh god, it's gonna get through! It's gonna get through! Oh, I think it missed! I think it missed! Oh my god! Oh! Okay. Wow. Yeah. Oh, the chaff! There was chaff at the very end. Uh, that made it miss there. Wow. Uh, these guys have chaff as well. Whew! Now we know there's a, we know there's submarines in this area, we know it. All my ships are now returning to, to course. But a lot of those missiles have been fired now, so they shouldn't really have too many missiles left. Okay, it's been a while. It looks like that torpedo hasn't quite found its mark. I thought that was a... Uh, I thought that could home. Active terminal guidance, but we weren't seeing that, so... I don't know what whether that was because I used a beer and... Oh no, here it is, yeah. It does have kind of active terminal guidance but he can't see anything so not surprising it did take a long time for that torpedo to get into the area but at least it will have spooked the submarines hopefully hopefully wow that was intense let's um let's speed this up my aircraft are starting to come in to hopefully prosecute this but i am kind of worried that the submarines will move out the area Because they're not as slow as probably what you think. Right. I want to make sure this guy's on the right mission. Yeah, he is.
Okay, so we're dropping soon, our boys. Which, I'm kind of surprised they aren't showing. Ah, uh, there we go. There's the distance. Okay. So, I've turned on the... Uh, Ah, here we go, here we go, here we go. We've, we've spotted, I reckon that has to be a submarine. It's in exactly the right area. He should engage. He should engage. Yeah, he's flying over. Torpedo away. Hopefully... This can uh, this can get a kill. Yes, we did it. We got a kill. We hit one of them. Now I'm kind of guessing that might have been this one. Um, but I think this whole area is kind of mostly under Sonar Boy now. So I'm gonna. I'm going to remove these. I'm actually going to remove this mission. And I put all of the Sea Kings back onto the uh, ASW mission. Uh, so they'll start re patrolling this entire area. And we can delete those reference points as well. We can also delete this one. At least I thought that was the command to delete them. Maybe it's... Okay. Ah, maybe I'll just do it this way. It... My control button clearly doesn't seem to be working. So that was kind of the last known location for one of the submarines. But it's clearly made it out of there so I think we'll speed up again and uh, the ship should start returning to course now yeah I think we may well just adjust this route think to something more like that I'm gonna try and keep away from that area in fact we may even go all the way up there uh, since we know the submarines are down in that area I kind of want to try and stay away from there as best as possible okay I'm gonna uh, unassign these units And then we'll just we'll RTB him and hope we don't need them because they're probably going to need to refuel now. Okay, so ships have changed path and uh, the whole mission area should rotate now. So I've got this set up to uh, kind of scout ahead of the uh, group of ships. So whenever the ships change course, the uh, Oh, torpedo. Torpedo. Oh, it's close. Oh, God, I wish I hadn't have returned those helicopters now. Oh, God. Oh, God, it's right next to HMS Newcastle. Um... This is the closest helo. We need this guy to engage. And hopefully he will. Yeah. 
I don't know about HMS Newcastle. I'm very worried right now. Um. Oh, we've also got Hilo up here. So I'm going to also ask you to come down and engage. And hopefully, yep, he should do that as well. Wow, okay, this is scary. Okay, but we can also engage with the ships, actually, to be fair. Um, we've got these Ikara, which hopefully... I'm going to allocate two of them to the target. Oh, I cannot fire against aged target. Oh, what? It's only four seconds ago. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's... Uh, that's really annoying. I wonder whether I can do a, a bearing only launch. Oh, I think I can with the Akara. Let's do a one shot. Hopefully, this will fire. A one shot only bearing, uh, bearing only launch. Yes, it did. Okay, so this thing is a torpedo with like a rocket on the back of it. So you can basically shoot the torpedo a lot further. And um, the distance is. Here we go. We've got a better picture of it there. So this is the torpedo here. And then it's basically mounted underneath a rocket, um, which gives it a much longer range. The torpedo itself, I think, is like four nautical miles. Uh, so it bumps it up an extra six nautical mile range. Pretty damn cool. Pretty cool. I'm really worried about HMS Newcastle right now. It is increasing speed, and it's trying to get away from this torpedo. So it's kind of doing what we'd expect it to do. I really wish I hadn't have sent those aircraft away because they're now refueling <laughs> but uh they weren't doing what i wanted them to do so i, I took a rash measure depending on what happens with this torpedo makes or breaks this game for us i think if this torpedo misses if we can get away then i think we can possibly escape this whole scenario without losing a ship we've already taken down one submarine Okay, let's watch this. Okay, it's in the water. I think he's trying to locate. We probably won't be able to find it, but I'd rather there just be a torpedo in that area. Like 50 seconds ago, they launched a torpedo, and we've got a counter torpedo in that location looking for the submarine. So that submarine is going to be pretty scared right now. At least that's the hope. Right, well, we lost location of that torpedo as well a long time ago, so that could be anywhere right now. Well, it's it's going to be chasing the Newcastle. You just got to hope they chase. Ooh! Oh, I thought we had him then. I thought we had the location. Oh, this is intense. This is intense. Where are the uh, helicopters? The helicopters are moving in. Oh, that torpedo could be right behind us right now. We've got no idea. Oh! Oh! It's gone off the screen, so I imagine it must have missed or run out of fuel or something. In fact, it will tell us here. Petered out. It basically petered out, which I think means it ran out of fuel. Or... Okay, so we but we know there's one right there. So I'm kind of a little bit worried that we still don't have anything over here right now. Where is my aircraft? Because that thing flies the fastest. Uh, where is my aircraft? Oh, it's down here. We really need that thing. Oh, another torpedo. Two torpedoes this time in the water. Oh, dear. 
and let's mark this location. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is launch another um, bearing only attack. And let's just get another torpedo in that area. Um, oh, the weapons reload him. Damn it, the weapons reload him. So we can't do that yet. I think what I want to do though is we're going to define a new area maybe around there the thing is according what is that okay so this submarine is pretty fast it's a fast submarine because according to our notes this could be anywhere in this circle right now which is pretty far away but we know it came it just fired here Or the closest it could be is in this area. Whoa. Oh dear. We've got another one. I think these some, you know, wow. Oh god. Well, you need to immediately launch. Can you immediately launch against that i know there's a torpedo in the water but can you get a torpedo a counter torpedo in the water i think he's just gonna he's gonna go straight on to defensive action ah damn we have a couple of helicopters up in this area oh don't i don't want them to attack the torpedo i want them Goblin. Make sure I mark the right one. I'm kind of hoping they'll switch targets. Yeah, they do. Ah, HNL MS strength is in real trouble right now, and I'm kind of not surprised. It's out on his own, completely undefended. I think a moment ago I was thinking I could get away pretty efficiently with this mission, but it's all looking bad right now. Okay, these helicopters are going to the edge range of that submarine which isn't helping me what is that oh no that was the old target i think we dropped that contact now we don't know where that is Uh, let's see, can we drop a sonar buoy under the layer? Will it let me do that? I don't think it will because it's engaged offensively. Okay, it looks like this torpedo up here has ran, has petered out. Yeah. So he managed to outrun it. But, um... This ship is really far out on its own. I actually want to run it. Oh, it's changing course. It's changing course, so that's fine. I'm quite glad it's changing course. OK, 
Okay, these torpedoes here, I'm, I'm hoping they've missed target and they're petered out. Yeah, that's that's what's happened. Yeah. So at least we're able to, at the moment, outrun their torpedoes. Oh, no wonder. All this, you know, I was saying I couldn't delete it earlier. I was, <laughs> I was pressing control D instead of control delete. <laughs> Derp. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days oh god no that was a while ago okay we don't know where that is anymore man we know this submarine's like really close into us let's have a look at the course where are we I'm really worried about this course now We've got a sub. We know there's a submarine up there. We know there's a submarine down there. So we're basically and trying to get through them. I'm kind of thinking. We ought to just. Oh, this is uh, right. I guess we ought to speed up again. Thing is, we can't do anything unless we get a lock on the location. I didn't even mention the time, but all of this is taking place at uh, 9.30 local time. 9.30 p.m. local time. So it's dark out there. Okay, we're doing cruise right now. I actually wonder whether we should slow down. But our, our sonar should be active. Yeah, the sonars are active, so... I guess if our sonars are active... Maybe we should... Oh, oh we brief... Oh, God. We've spotted one. We've even got the attack. We know it's a submarine. Right, everything needs to attack that immediately. Everything is. Can we get a shot on that as well? It's near, near us. Galatea, you can get a shot on that for sure. Surely. Oh, I cannot fire. The uh, target location is too ambiguous. But we could do another bearing only launch. Although it's, it's so close to a passive sonar boy. So we know where he is. I'm just wondering if we do a... Oh, Newcastle, what have you got? We could we could use We could do a bearing only launch with uh, this guy. At least that will get a torpedo in the water. Uh, which might make the submarine do something uh, that it you know, do something more to reveal itself. I think all of my stuff is going towards it right now, yeah. So, everything's coming in to attack it. So, that's good. We've just got to uh, wait for the action. I'm not too worried now, because at least I know where it is. Or oh, another torpedo launch. That submarine's got to be worried right now. I 
I'm hoping if this thing we get a proper lock, then the Gauti, Gautea, I, I hope I'm saying that right, can launch another one of those Akiras. Oh, here comes the number 46 squadron, uh, the Nimrod. Don't know if I've shown you that plane. Uh, we have a Nimrod up in the skies, and that thing can obviously travel much faster than everything else. Uh, so hopefully that will drop a torpedo. Oh, torpedoes in the water. Okay, so obviously it was there for a reason. Like, why should we have not expected there were torpedoes in the water? Okay, what's that done? Why has it done nothing? Why did you just do nothing? <laughs> nope. I think it's because torpedoes are already... A... Whoa. Oh, it's that... Oh dear. Okay, so that northern submarine is again attacking us. Um, the Dremf, I think, is already kind of. Oh, this one up here is very close. How many? It's got one torpedo though. I kind of want it to plot a course down here. We'll have to keep an eye on this, and then we're going to get it to uh, sonar dip. Oh, those torpedoes are getting mighty close in on the HMS Newcastle. Oh, we've lost location here. Yes, we got the kill. I think that means it's just this northern submarine left and that's it. As long as these torpedoes, you know, run out of fuel. Okay, we've got another goblin. Okay, sorry, no, that was where the uh, location was. But according to that, it can go that fast, but I don't believe that for a moment. Let's drop uh, an active sonar boy. And hope it does that. Oh, it's sonar dipping. It's, dip it's deploying its dipping sonar, which is good. It's what we want. Kind of overshot the target a little bit, but... Oh, uh, we found the... Uh, now it's dipping. We can find the torpedoes, so we know we can outrun those. And actually, yeah, the Dremf's, the Dremf is turning to avoid them, so we are going to avoid those torpedoes. Unfortunately, we haven't got a, a lock on that submarine, but we know it's up north. All of my ships are now fleeing. <laughs> but that's actually standard tactics. As far as I'm aware, the standard tactics are... If you can run away from the torpedo, just run away from the torpedo. <laughs> okay, I think we have it. We have the location. Oh, the Dremf is just out of range. Can we uh, get him to turn? And We know we're outside of that torpedo now. Yeah, I think he is. He's turning. He's going to go after the goblin. Uh, which is uh, the submarine. Okay, hopefully this one works out. Hopefully. We've kind of lost lost its location once again, which uh, is painful. Oh, we've picked it up again. Everything's closing in. I think this is the last kill we need. I'm pretty sure there was only three submarines, and I think we've killed two. Oh, more t torpedoes in the water. Dremf, I think you're going to have to get out of there. Yeah, he's getting out of there. He's engaged defensively now. This is intense. Okay, in comes the uh, Nimrod. Flight Air Gun 69. Woohoo! Oh, come on. I don't know whether he's just going to immediately drop. He should drop Torpedo. I mean, it's like seven seconds. That thing can't go far. Hopefully he drops. Yes! Yes! Oh, and we know the exact location. That Torpedo should definitely be homing in now. I think we've got this. I'm pretty hopeful. Yes! It's targeting. Oh, he's on the back. 
That submarine is running for his life right now. We've got a chance. Come on. Come on. Yes! We got the kill. We got the kill. Nice job. Nice job. Right, we've just got to make sure these torpedoes... Uh, we avoid these torpedoes, and I think that's it. I'm actually just going to replot. Oof. Should I? I think I'm going to keep the same course. Just in case. You never know. You never know. We should stay tactical here. We should stay tactical. So, let's just uh, up the speed. Oh, we still... That torpedo is still chasing. Could still have a chance. No, it's run out. It's run aground. Okay, I think this is it. So, I'm going to... I'm going to go onto the fastest speed possible. Fire speed. And uh, hopefully... God, if another submarine shows up, I'm going to be devastated. Uh, but hopefully... What is that doing? Flying around. Oh, he's flying down here. Just mark all of these because we know they're neutral. This plane here is... Uh, we can't really attack it. We don't have anything with the range. Why are you going down there? I think you're going to investigate the civilian. Oh, it's just a weather report. It's a weather report, guys. I'm pretty sure there's a way I can... Oh, he doesn't have any targets. I've obviously set them to a mission, which has meant they are ended up all the way down there. Also, these ones here are kind of... I've... I think I've gone wrong with that. Okay, so we're heading in now. Changed uh, top course again. Let's just follow the group. And uh, we'll turn off. Range symbols for everything else. False target. And we're heading home. Hopefully, well, yeah, I mean, if there was another submarine, I'm sure it would have fired on me by now. So, I think we're uh, I think we're okay here. That noise, I think, is just all these contacts being picked up. But I'm not worried about that. Okay, we're heading into uh, the target location now. Good stuff. Yes, the scenario is concluded. Oh, I'm so chuffed. And the graph isn't displaying, but we got 2,000 points. Wow, we didn't lose a unit. The reason I'm so chuffed is I've played this scenario now, I think, four times. This is the first time I haven't lost a unit. And this is also the first time we're like... Not only have I not lost a unit, but I haven't lost like three or four units. Most of the time I've lost a lot of units doing this scenario. So, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm really, really chuffed. Um, let's have a look at the expenditure. We, we used a hell of a lot of uh, sonar boys. That's what these are. Oh, the 18 sea darts. They were the uh, surface missile... Um, Surface-to-air missiles that were shooting down the enemy missiles. Uh, same with the Sea Cats. We used five torpedoes. Uh, the Sea Sparrows, they were also surface-to-air missiles. I think it's because... 
the C denotes that he comes from Navy ships, I presume, maybe. <laughs> uh, we used cannon fire to try and shoot down some of those missiles. Uh, loaded chaff as well. More cannon fire, more sonar boys, more sonar boys, more sonar boys. And then the two Ikara, they were the rocket launched torpedoes as well. So we used them. Losses for the enemy side, three submarines, uh, one PLARK 670 Charlie 1, one PL 641 Foxtrot, and one PL 613 Whiskey 5. They used eight Starbright missiles. They were the um, surface, uh, they were the submarine guided missiles, anti ship missiles. Uh, they also used six acoustic decoys. Ah, interesting, which could have been that false target towards the end if that was still going. And then it also used 12 pattern run or torpedoes, which we managed to uh, evade quite effectively. Oh, there was a loss of a false contact, which I have no idea what that was. <laughs> um, excellent, excellent. So we got 2,000 points. We got 500 per submarine sunk, and we got 500 for reaching the rendezvous point. Like I said earlier, I've done this scenario before um, and it's gone drastically wrong and I, I'm still learning the mechanics so I, I want to make sure that I give you um, a video where at least I'm playing fairly competently so you can see the game being played by someone that's not a complete idiot. <laughs> you are seeing it being played by someone that's a complete idiot but uh, I'm trying not to be an idiot. <laughs> Yeah, I really enjoyed this scenario. It's just a basic, you know, uh, anti-submarine warfare scenario. It's set up, I think, let's have a quick look, uh, by Paul Bridge. I think it was written for the original game, and obviously it's uh, ported across to this, as all the standard scenarios are. And uh, hopefully I'll be playing lots more of these kind of scenarios and trying to ramp up the complexity a little bit as well. So the previous one we had kind of an air-only scenario, and this was kind of like a a ship and air but it was only against submarines so a little bit more complex but still you know basic enough that i can get to grips with the game hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, let me know let me know your thoughts drop down in the comments i really appreciate reading your guys thoughts about the videos um let me know what you thought about the style of the video let me know what you thought about you know was the screen too cluttered also, the map, I, I kind of prefer this map, if I'm honest. Uh, we have got daylight settings on. Um, which is somewhere. Here we go, day and night settings. So this is this is the normal map setting. But I kind of like the day and night settings. So I'm going to leave them on for now, unless you guys tell me otherwise. Uh, because I like to know that it is actually 4am. And this kind of gives me that visual. And then, like, if you pop across to the other side of the world, um, where it is daylight, and then the map's in, in daylight settings, which is kind of pretty cool. It takes a little moment for the, the maps to log in. But I kind of like this map, to be honest. This is, I don't think this one is the standard one uh, that most people use, but I kind of like the uh, kind of Google, Google Earthy look and then the, uh, the sea look. Uh, anyway, great. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this, uh, my second Command Modern Operations video. I really love this game. It, it's an expensive game, but I find it like so much fun. I really do. But it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea. Definitely watch some more videos. Uh, there's a guy out there. In fact, jump into my Discord. Uh, jump in the de description. There's links in there to my Discord. And we got videos up from one of the guys who does a lot of the tutorials. I think his name is uh, Phil Gatcombe. If I'm getting his name right, hopefully I am. Um, but yeah, definitely recommend watching his videos. They are excellent. Right, that is it from me. I've talked for way too long on this little ex extra. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know. And uh, yeah, I I'm going to, I'm, I'm pumped. I'm pumped. I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed that scenario. Thanks very much for watching, guys. I am Angry Bird. I will see you hopefully next time. <laughs>